The solimeter 6.5 is a tool used to measure UV. However, not everyone has a solimeter 6.5. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to choose the correct UVB lamp without a solimeter 6.5. Let's first go over the importance of what brand UVB bulb you use. When you don't have a solimeter 6.5, it would be best if you chose Zoomed or Arcadia, as these are known to be the most reliable brands of UVB. The quality of other UVB lamps vary, which is not ideal if you don't have a solimeter 6.5, as you can't measure whether or not the UV that you're currently using is appropriate for your reptile. It's important that you remember that you have to replace the UVB lamp after a certain amount of months, as the lamp will stop producing UVB even though it's still producing light. Arcadia and Zoomed's T5 and T8 lamps should be replaced every 12 months. Arcadia and Zoomed's compact bulbs should be replaced every 6 months. Other brands of UVB bulb can stop producing UV quicker than Arcadia and Zoomed, which is why I don't recommend other brands other than Arcadia and Zoomed. Some of the cheap UV lamps that you see online will probably produce UVC. UVC is dangerous as it causes cell and tissue damage. If you want to check if an off-brand bulb produces UVC, you'll need a solimeter 8.0 and pair it with a shot WG295 glass to avoid any false positive readings. So off-brand bulbs will require more than a solimeter 6.5 if you are to use them safely. This video is for anyone without solimeter 6.5, so I assume that they don't have the tools for detecting UVC either, and need a more reliable brand of bulb, which is another reason why Arcadia or Zoomed are recommended. Now we go into the importance of the type of fixture that you use for your UVB bulb. Different brands of light fixtures have an effect on the UVI produced due to the shape of the reflector. There are linear fixtures such as this one in my Leopard Gecko's enclosure. There are vertical fixtures for compact bulbs. Then there are compact bulb fixtures that hold the lamp in a more horizontal position. Let's look at an example of how different fixtures can affect the UV output. A Zoomed T5 Tempoyo was used in all the fixtures pictured before. This graph shows the different UV levels as a result of the different fixtures. The reflector in the new Sun Blaster fixture doesn't actually reflect UV, so it should actually just be used as if it had no reflector. Using UV lamps without a reflector will be covered later on in the video. Mercury vapor lamps, also known as all-in-one lamps that produce both heat and UVB should be avoided, as their UV levels vary bulb to bulb, which is not good for anyone that doesn't have a solar meter. When choosing a UV lamp, you have to keep the Ferguson zone in mind. The Ferguson zone is the amount of UV that your reptile is found to naturally be exposed to. See if your species of reptile is on this table and it will show you what amount of UV they should be exposed to. For example, you can see that the green anole is in the zone 2 category. This means that the UVI levels you'd be aiming for for this species is between 1.1 and 3.0 UVI. I will post a bigger list of reptiles and their Ferguson zones in the description if you can't find your reptile in this table here. If you are placing the UVB lamp over a mesh screen, then you should know that the mesh screen is blocking some of the UVB. I'm going to show several lists of different brands of mesh screen and how much UVB that they block. Group B mesh, 15% block. Group C mesh, 25% block.
group D mesh, 30% block. Group E mesh, 35% block. Group F mesh, 45% block. Group G mesh, 50% block. Group H mesh, 65% block. And group I mesh, 70% block. Now I'll show the UVI charts for the ZooMed 5.0, 10.0, and Arcadia 6%, 12%, and 14%. Keep your reptiles focus in the zone and the brand mesh screen that you have in mind as you look at these charts. The charts that we'll be covering right now are T5 bulbs. I couldn't find a UVI chart for a ZooMed Reptisun T8 5.0 in a ZooMed Terrarium hood, so I just made my own little video showing me measuring the UVI levels.
while I still had the Zoom Ed bulb out, I thought it would be a good time to pull out this 20 gallon long aquarium with a mesh screen to give you guys an example of how you can calculate your UVI output. I have the solimeter positioned 8 inches or 20 centimeters away from the UVB bulb. The brand mesh screen that I'm using is All Living Things from PetSmart, which is 25% block. Now let's calculate the UVI output of a T8 ZoomEd Reptisun 5.0 and a ZoomEd Reptisun Terrarium hood with all living things mesh, 8 inches or 20 centimeters away from the bulb. First, you have to multiply the percent of UV that the mesh blocks by the UVI value without mesh. Then, subtract the quotient by the UVI value without mesh. As shown before in this video, the UVI reading at that distance is 1. 1 UVI times 25% equals 0.25. 1 UVI minus 0.25 is approximately 0.75 UVI. So what if you don't have a reflector for your UVB lamp? A good rule of thumb is to divide the UVI levels that you see in the chart by 3. We'll use the group A UVI chart, which is no mesh screen. Let's use the UVI values that are around 4 inches or 10 centimeters away from the UVB bulb. 13.4 divided by 3 is 4.4 UVI, 25.4 divided by 3 is 8.4 UVI, and so on. When you are using UVB without a reflector, the type of fixture that you use doesn't matter anymore, just as long as the fixture works well enough to light up the entire lamp. In this clip, I have a zoom ed fixture with a reflector, and at the top, a regular fixture with no reflector. I use the regular fixture at the top to light up aquariums. As said before, if you're not going to use a reflector, then the brand of fixture that you use doesn't really matter anymore. Just make sure that it lights up the bulb. This fixture will work perfectly. The UVI at 4 inches or 10 centimeters is 2.2 when a ZoomEd Reptisun reflector is used. 2.2 UVI divided by 3 is approximately 0.73 UVI. Now let's calculate the UVI output of a T8 ZoomEd Reptisun 5.0 without a reflector and with an All Living Things mesh screen, which is 25% block, at 8 inches or 20 centimeters away from the bulb. First, calculate the UVI with mesh, then divide the UVI value by 3. We're going to use the same calculation that we used on the ZoomEd Reptisun T8 5.0 UVB installed into a ZoomEd Reptisun fixture, but with one more step, since there's no reflector. We got approximately 0.75 UVI with a reflector, but now we divide it by 3 and we get 0.25 UVI. The length of the UVB lamp only needs to be half the length of your enclosure and no more. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you choose the appropriate UVB lamp for your reptile.